Hey, aloha, I'm Mark J. with part six of the truth about Think and Grow Rich. We're so glad you're here. So let's talk about um, what Carnegie told Hill, allegedly. He told him he wasn't going to pay him and that he was going to give him a letter of introduction to the 500 and most, uh, four most successful people. And from that, he would glean their secret to riches and get wealthy himself. And um, what's interesting is Hill never talked about his interview with Carnegie until Carnegie was dead for 12 years. I already told you in a previous one the, the insane ramblings of this alleged book. I, I don't even know what it is. But anyway, uh, but allegedly in that conversation, he was given this book, The Master Key System, which we now know in truth and in fact, Hill had already discovered the master key system from the letter that I read to you in 1917. Now, did he meet with uh, Roosevelt and give him the, the, the expression, we have nothing to fear but fear itself? No, White House says no record of it. The, any record of him meeting with Woodrow Wilson and other presidents? Absolutely not. And additionally, the 504 people, he met with one that was Edison because he told Edison that 150,000 people had voted from him to give him an award. Edison took a picture of Hill with the award, and as soon as the ceremony was over, he'd had enough of Hill, and he gave Hill the award back immediately. You can find this right on uh, real resources on uh, uh, on Google. Google. What is it? Google that shit. Is that what people say? So. Let's talk about the master key system. No matter how he came about it, if you understand the master key system, if you quote unquote get the master key, then anything that you want can be yours as long as you're willing to do the hard mental labor to change what's in your subconscious mind. You see, the problem uh, that Hill left out was the hard mental labor, just like The Secret and just like this latest version of this movie with all the big, you know, the proctors and the, all those guys God bless you, Bob. Um, they left out the part about the work and what's the work to change the program that's running here. Otherwise, that stuff is just information. It's not what you read that makes a difference. It's what you think about what you read. And when you're reading from a scoundrel versus reading from the truth, you tell me which group you'd rather follow. Peace out. We'll see you in part seven.